All right, Bladers, so I'm going to start off this video by giving a quick shout out to the Portal Zero for giving me this package. I did order it off their store. Pretty awesome group of Bladers that sells bays. As for the package itself, Just you know, that's for their Instagram and this QR code for the YouTube channel. So go check them out. They're a really good place to get Beyblades from. Anyways, I got a Valium 22 random booster from Beyblade Burst Super King. And this one is supposed to be the prize bay, Infinite Achilles, Dimension Dash 1B. The only other Super King bay that I want before I get to die in my battle. In fact, I also did gain some other bays from this random booster. Such as this remake of Drigger, which... Focus. This remake of Drigger, which I got because it comes with the Infinite Shield. I got this remake of uh, Dragoon, Dragoon Victory. I only got this because Eternal. I wanted the Eternal Driver. And I also got this Super Satan combo, which I bought this for the Extreme Driver. And he also gave me this neat little Zephyr Dash right here. I mean, not Zephyr Dash, regular Zephyrs. Not a Dash version. Focus camera. There we go. Finally. Nice. But yeah, of course, it's used by Iger Akaba in the anime. Has the infinite sword and shield mode. This little sticker on the back. I'm not going to cover the other random booster base that I got you because, I mean, I feel like yeah, I only would care about infinite Achilles since that's the only one I really, that's the only one I really wanted to be honest with you. Um, the, we got the Achilles chip, the infinite ring, that's the infinite sword right there. If you got the uh, black version of infinite Achilles, you would have gotten the golden infinite shield, which is the one Iger uses in the anime. And here we got the top, which shows off the stats. Obviously, obviously infinite sword is the attack mode, infinite shield is the defense mode. And here it also shows the high drivers, because this is actually the random booster that introduced the high drivers as a concept. But yeah, enough chit chat. Let's get this unboxing started. So first off, we're gonna start off with the driver, Dimension Dash. Here it is. So Dimension Dash can change its height if you turn this dial. Right now it's in the shortest height. Now it's in its standard height, so it's about as tall as the average driver for burst. Now it's in its tallest height. If I turn it a little bit more, it's even taller than that. It also has this rubber spike that's constantly sticking out of the tip, out, out, out of the hole. So it's pretty much like Unite, but reverse, where instead of having a rubber ring around a spike, plastic spike tip, it has a rubber spike tip with a plastic ring around it. So that rubber spike will allow it to like have a very calm and stable movement, helping it preserve its stamina by defending attacks. But if knocked off balance, it can go on the aggressive side. Now, normally, Dimension Dash has a thing where you change it. If, if you turn it down a little bit, the rubber spike retracts, putting it in a pure attack mode. But this Dimension Dash does not do that, strangely. I guess because they make the rubber spike stick out a lot more than before. So, that's pretty interesting. But it will wear down eventually, so it does just become a pure attract driver that can just change its height after a while. Kind of makes me wish that maybe they change the spec into metal so it doesn't wear down. But oh well. The chassis. 1B. Stand for one, about one balance. Double chassis, of course. Nice translucent red plastic at the edge. For some reason, the plastic in the center is blue. Is a clear. I don't know why I said blue for a second. It's clear, which is really weird, but all right. And has these five blades going around that gives it a nice mix of attack and defense, which does fit Achilles. Although personally, I would wish they gave it a new double chassis because overall design wise, I think one B is just kind of random to me. But whatever. Again, this one B does look pretty nice. Now we got the now. Focus. There we go. We got the infinite ring with the Achilles chip. So the Achilles chip looks very similar to uh, the one for Chosey Achilles. Well, the center design for Chosey Achilles has the shield at the bottom, the head on top, and of course the sparking chip core in the middle. But nothing really special about it, it's just a different motif. The infinite ring has the very standard design for Achilles, has the top and bottom blades for defense as these are meant to be shields. And these two blades are obviously designed to be swords, which are meant for attack. So 
So that's how Infinite Achilles looks. So Infinite Achilles does have three modes. The modes I just the mode I it's in right now is like I guess speed or balance mode where it has neither of the infinite sword or shield attachments. So because of that it's a little bit lighter, making it faster. And it's also like I guess the just the perfect balance of attack and defense, right? So this red infinite Achilles, the one that's in the anime, comes with the blue infinite sword piece. So of course the infinite sword, as you can, as the name implies, does extend the actual blades of Achilles, makes them more aggressive. As this like, nice little point right here, boom, boom, boom. And the blades are all sloped. They're all at an angle, so it provides some nice upper attack. Since I bought the Dragoon Victory as well, I also have this red, not red, this orange colored infinite sword. Looks pretty good on it, but I definitely prefer the blue. And because I did get the um Drigger Vulcan, I have now also have this black infinite shield. So it does the opposite. It instead extends the blades that are meant to be the shields for Achilles. And it gives it a more rounded shape. So it has, provides a lot better defense. And it looks pretty nice with this black. I'm not going to lie. Again, if you got the black version of the infinite Achilles, you would have gotten the yellow infinite shield. So overall, it does look pretty good. Anyway, so we're going to move on to the test battle. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change this mode depending on... Which bay I'm putting it up against. So, for example, for Dragoon Victory. For Dragoon Victory. I'll put it up against... I'll use Achilles in its standard mode without the sword or shield. I'll use its infinite shield against Trigger Vulcan. And I'll use its infinite sword against Super Satan. And that's my unboxing of the new Infinite Achilles Dimension Dash 1B. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you all next time. And once again, shout out to the Portal Zero for allowing me to get this awesome bay.